Friends, greetings, and welcome to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice, where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, skin care, ingredients, formulations, the longevity products, or if you have a success story you'd like to share, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. 844-236-6010. If you have a comment or you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or you can go to criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. Those are my blogs, we update those regularly with news stories as well as blog posts, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or you can go over to brightsideben.com as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, or if you like, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And of course, if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, including our retinol 5% gel made without preservatives, without emulsifiers and waxes. If you tried to use retinol or retinoic acid in the past and you couldn't because it was irritating in any way, you want to check out our retinol 5% gel. You're not going to find 5% retinol anywhere, and you're certainly not going to find it without preservatives, and you're not going to find it with vitamin C. You find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. That's truthtreatments.com. Okay. We're talking the stress hormone, the little known stress hormone called aldosterone, which in addition to helping the body handle survival threats is also involved in the release of minerals from cells into the blood, particularly sodium and potassium and chloride, also magnesium and calcium. These are electrolyte minerals. They're released out of cells into the blood in order to help the body handle the stress response. This is so, so important to recognize because it links these elements, this, what we call the electrolytes and the salts, to the emergency response. Salts are vital for how the body handles emergency, the salts we call electrolytes. And it really highlights the utter, utter biochemical ignorance of salt avoidance strategies. The salt avoidance strategies that you hear ad nauseum from the government and from doctors and the medical model in general. Why? This is craziness. The salt phobia is near the top of the list of stupid things you hear from your doctor, and it's a long list. It includes cholesterol causing heart disease, don't eat eggs, stay out of the sun, uh, wear your sunscreen to protect yourself from melanoma, don't take your supplements because they might make your immune system more powerful and interfere with your chemotherapy, don't eat broccoli because I might interfere with your vitamin K. I mean, the list of idiotic things you hear from doctors, it's nearly endless, but salt phobia has got to be near the top. Why? Well, first of all, salt is important for helping us handle stress. Number two, you can't stay away from salt. 
It's a vital need and cravings are built into our brain. And number three, salt levels in the blood are controlled mostly via hormones and biochemistry and much, much less as a result of what we're eating. When we eat or drink too much sodium or potassium or chloride or any other electrolytes, i.e. salts, if we're healthy, these minerals are going to get excreted via the kidneys. The kidney's job is to keep minerals in the blood at the appropriate levels, and the kidneys are exquisitely capable of doing their work when we're healthy. Can you overwhelm the system? Well, yeah, probably. But as far as their levels in the blood go, it's much more important to control the stress response and the subsequent secretion of the hormone aldosterone, the stress slash mineral hormone aldosterone, than it is to try to force yourself to go low, low salt, which is next, next to impossible. What's more, and this is very important, the relationship between elevated stress, elevated, uh, the elevated stress response and salt in the blood results in a loss of salts, a loss of sodium, a loss of chloride, a loss of potassium in addition to a loss of calcium and magnesium. The more stress we're under, the more we're losing salt. The more stress we're under, the more salt deficient we'll be. The greater and the lo uh, longer lasting the stress response, the more likely we will be to be deficient in these minerals. And then you go and follow your doctor's advice to go low salt. Now you're really going to be salt deficient. This is why if we're under physiological stress and psychological stress, we will feel better when we drink salt water. And when we start drinking salt water, a little bit of Celtic sea salt and water, that salt water is going to taste like the most delici delicious beverage you ever had. Why? Because your body needs the salt. If you're drinking salt water, if you drink, put a little Celtic sea salt in your water and you sip on it, and it tastes really good, guaranteed you needed the salt. And then the second sip and the third sip and the fourth sip, you're going to notice that it doesn't taste as good. And the, with the second and third and fourth sip, you're going to meet your salt needs. Drink salt water if you're under adrenal fatigue issues, if you're suffering from adrenal fatigue issues. If you get up quickly from a sitting position or a laying down position and you feel dizzy or woozy, that's a sign of adrenal fatigue. If you get up uh, uh, for eight hours or nine hours of sleep and you feel tired still, that's a sign of adrenal fatigue. If you're craving salt, that's a sign of adrenal fatigue. All of these are issues that you can take, take care of, that you can fix, or at least partially work on, by drinking salt water. And you'll feel better too. Even better, get your salts from vegetables. Drinking salt water, drinking Celtic sea salt water, not, not uh, Morton salt, drinking a gourmet salt like Himalayan salt or Celtic sea salt, that's good. But drinking or getting salt by drinking vegetables, vegetable juices, vegetable waters, that's even better. Why? Because the minerals, the electrolytes that are found in plants, that are found in vegetables, are in their organically bound form. They have been magically transformed into an incredibly useful form. That's what colloidal minerals are. Yeast, by the way, is also a great source of these organically bound minerals. This makes nutritional yeast one of the most powerful, nutrient-dense food supplements you could ever use. Nutritional yeast, and it tastes delicious too. Yeasts are living substances. Anytime you can eat a living substance, as we talked last week, anytime you can eat a living substance, you are gonna get valuable, valuable nutrition. That means eggs, oysters, and yeast. Those are our major, major, most important living substances. Vegetables were living, and if you pick them out of the ground quickly and eat them, they're as close to living as you're going to get. Along with yeast and, and uh, eggs, you've got three very important living foods that are not only going to support, supply you vitamins and protein, they also supply you with these electrically charged and usable minerals. And of course, because plants or animals eat plants, and sometimes sea vegetation, if they live in the ocean or they live in water, organ meats, fish, shellfish, these are also going to be a good source of organically bound minerals. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. We are back on the 
Right Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. This is your Common Sense Nutritional Program. Everything we talk about here on this program is just basic common sense. You don't need an eight-year medical degree to understand how your body works, and you certainly don't need an eight-year medical degree to understand how to restore yourself back to your God-given birthright of good health and wellness. 844-236-6010 844-236-6010 is our number. we got lines open for you. We are here for you on the bright side. Let us help you change your life today if you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease or if, you just, if you're healthy and you just want to live longer and feel better. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. And if you want to sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. We would love to have you on the team. Please call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks for, for helping spread the word about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, or get your products at the wholesale price. You can also sign up right off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, we're talking the stress response, the stress response as it shows up or as it manifests via hormones, specifically the hormone aldosterone. This is all as it regards the skin, by the way. We're still talking skin health and hyperpigmentation and melasma and oily skin and inflammatory issues of the skin, eczema and psoriasis. These are all related to to a, a, a manifestation. These are all manifestations of the stress response. Stress is, you can think of stress as a perception that we can't cope with what's going on in our lives. Stress results when, when we feel like we can't cope, uh, can't cope with the ups and downs, the normal ups and downs of what occurs in our lives. The fact of the matter is we can cope. We always cope with whatever occurs in our lives. So stress is a bit of an illusion, at least psychological and emotional stresses, but they manifest themselves as physical, chemical, biochemical stresses, which are not illusory, illusory they are real. The illusory physical stress, emotion, I'm sorry, the illu- illusory psychological stress, emotional and mental issues, those can be linked or show up as physiologic stresses, real physical stresses via the activity of hormones, specifically aldosterone, also cortisol and also adrenaline. So what we think and what we feel, while those are illusory in the sense that they're not They're just neural blips and bleeps and quantum flux, movement of ions in our brain. That's all a a thought is, as significant as a thought may seem to be. No matter matter what you're thinking, no matter how important it is what you're thinking, it's really nothing more than the movement of potassium and calcium and, and, uh, and sodium in nerve cells in your brain. That's all a thought is. Likewise, an emotion. These are all illusory but they're linked to real physiologic effects via the activity of hormones. The hormone we're talking about today is your mineral hormone, aldosterone. And the flow of minerals out of cells into the blood is largely controlled by stresses and the stress hormones. This is why it's so important to make sure you're getting enough of these electrolytes via the diet and via supplementation. Organically bound electrolytes, that is the electrolytes, the minerals that are found in plants and vegetables and the animals that eat those plants, are always going to be more healthful, are always going to be more beneficial, are always going to be more useful to our bodies than the minerals that are found in their rock form. This is one of Dr. Wallach's major insights, maybe his most important insight, and probably the most the major philosophical pillar upon which the longevity nutritional philosophy is built. Plant derived minerals are not the same as inorganic minerals. I know we've talked about this over and over and over again, but I still get letters from people who want to know about mercury and arsenic and the minerals that are in the plant derived beyond tangy tangerine and ultimate classic and the various plant derived mineral products that, that longevity sells organically bound plant derived minerals are a unique species of mineral. They're complex with plant proteins. Plants have an ability, vegetation has an ability to magically transform rock minerals, which are found in the soil, to magically transform these rock minerals into electrolytic colloidal minerals, electrically active colloidal minerals. Colloidal meaning they suspend in liquids. If your mineral suspends in liquid, 
then it's organically bound. Otherwise, your mineral would sink. 